Hey everybody, welcome back to more Wargamer Dragon. Today we're gonna play some Soviets again. It's been a while, and I've also slightly adjusted the deck from last time. Uh, something that you don't see that often is the OBR87, or two cards of it. OBR87 is a perfectly solid tank, but two cards of it is usually not how the Soviet tank type is run, but there's honestly just so many ways that you can run this tank type, right? The, I've say, said it before, from these four lines, basically T64B onwards, everything is a solid choice. Even the T64A has a role. There's some, you know, tanks here and there from like the T55 and T62 line that can be fine, right? But basically, the, all these four lines, they're all decent choices. Of course, it's not not a good idea to run two cards of T64A and two cards of T72, right? Um, but I can always see like a reason to put pretty much any of these units into your deck. Some, of course, less than others, right? Base C72 and Base C64A. Not the best choices, but there's worse ones, right? In a the vacuum, they're not bad. It's just that when you're playing Soviets, right? Not a huge reason to take them. But other than those two, really, all of them are just solid. And today we're going to play some uh, T72s. Well, and the card of T80s. But also around the T64B, right? Gonna trade uh, some AP because you know you know you like range for the Cobra. Also a bit of speed. Could be good, could be bad, but you know what? Because I've just talked, I just talked myself into it. Let's do it. Uh, I've, I'm not running it a whole ton, the T64B, uh, but why not give it a shot, huh? Just full ADGM tank setup. Anyway, this is our deck, and uh, as always, I shall see you in a second once we find a rank game. Oh, would you look at that? We didn't even get nuclear this time around. Uh, time for your daily uh, hydrate notification, I guess. Go, go drink something. I just did as well. All right, let me let me check. Um, this is not. Is it the same? No, no, that's that's different, uh, different nickname from the last healer rusher. But hold on, let me let me take a look at the ping. Okay, last time we got healer rushed, the ping was much lower. Okay, and they even said hi. All right, all right. So it doesn't seem to be, it doesn't appear to be, the healer rusher from that nuclear winter's coming game. All right, we got highway. Um, I think I want to focus on this area here. Yeah, and with some anti gems, maybe I can do some uh, cheeky stuff in this part or this part. Uh, let's open with some Ozas. Let's open with some Factorias. I might not. I don't think I'm gonna immediately get a cop. Maybe I'll just get a PD early on. Openers are really uh, can or can be the. Biggest struggle for Soviets because you know if you run the K fifty two right, it's your Rican Hilo and it's hundred thirty points. Or it's rather expensive. Ooh. The triple stack of these bad boys. Uh, you might not need that many ATGMs, really. Honestly, I think I can... No, why Why would I even start with Gonos? What are we gonna leave here? Infantry CV? I think I'd rather leave an Infantry CV here. We have a Potnos. Mm. Right. Just had to check a Discord ping. So maybe we have some Jalos would be nice. Jalos to get it with a BTR ninety. All right. Good luck, fun. It's gonna be a while until we can afford a PD. Just get into the bush here. 
Is this not a bush here? No. Okay. Uh, you can load like there. MTV. Go there. Of course, it's all kind of based upon the fact or the hope or the cope that there is not going to be a. Tiger or the like, right? EDV. I'd rather I'd rather just invest into a book if I can if I can word an ASF. F4, it's KWS. Yep. Lucky crit. Lucky crit. Lucky crit. Aww. Oh. Whoa. So we're probably not playing against Eurocore if I had to guess. Because usually you'd see the gazelle there. Yeah, so it's DGZ. If I had to guess, it's gonna be Mech. And why else would I gonna run Hussarin when you can get KCT? Infantry CV. Get Puck out. Get the Gru here. Yeah, waste those. Get the gems. There's the reservists. Get the scratcher and the Osa away. Gotta get those VDV in there. And immediately get more. What are those tanks? Two A1s, probably. Get some supplies on the field. The Osa. Well, we should also get something on, on the right there. The K29 there. Is it a Roland? Nice, a dead Roland. Alright. Did we spot it? Did it fire? No, oh, there's Rick in there, alright. Picking off, let's get some of that. The nice thing about them is, of course, just like all the other like T64s and T72s, they have 4HE, right? And at 65 points, when you have a 3 stack of them, which is not that expensive, it's quite some HE output. Oh, stop spotting my VDV, man. Anyway, let's spread around some more uh, these bad boys. Yeah, there's something there. More video, yeah, more BB coming. Get this out. Uh, let's get another. Yeah, Factorias are gonna be really good. Yeah, those are the. We can. Thank. I guess this angle, man. Not necessarily angle, but how the heck can they like spot me through such deep forest? Oh, I even like right clicked on the two one, so they would not shoot at that. I still did that. I treat them. What is happening here? Not much, how about you? Um, let's just get some other strike in there.
Very service. Fire some rocket pots. Oh, that's the Roland. Unfortunate. One of fire position this part there. Let's get another respect gun squad. Get an OBR. I need to fire position like there. get a kill or even like any damage I think. Very unfortunate where I get the supply truck out of there. Oh nice. Got lucky against a soft griffin that they missed. Okay that's interesting. We are okay. Yeah, drive down there. Get a Jurgen oh, has one forty, not one twenty. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, there's no point in that. We will retreat. Oh, no, no, don't get a CV. Yeah, you're again. Yeah, two ones are there, so I think we might be able to flush these. Uh, thing is out. Get a few shots in there. Bonus might be good here. Actually, once your resupply, just hover over there. See if it has a defensive unit. Basically, on, this is not meant to really do a lot of damage. Just meant to basically annoy him. Slow him down. Horses to leopards to be panicked. There's the reservists. I saw another reservist, the recon. Put you up. In case you, by the way, in case you're not aware, what you might have just noticed, when you have like certain weapons turned on or off, and uh, uh, sorry, off, just off. Uh, okay, nice. Maybe we can now survive the second. The Victoria took splash damage there. First singer missed, luckily. So we might be able to get out alive here. Uh, we don't. Oh well, it's okay. We live. I mean, not this, not the helo, but. Ooh, let's not forget about this. It's Miss Micro on my part. Got a nasty shot in there, though. Helo. With the last few rockets, oops, let's fire in there. I bought a CV, yeah? No, I didn't. I bought another OVR. Flight truck, get your bag, get another one up. Oh, good shot on the Roland. Nice panic. Discretion's up, they're gonna be really good for fire support. Below's up. I'd really like to get those in there.
Um, I'd like something that says five hundred spans there. And again, the scratches should have no real issue. Yard in the open there. Killed you with the MG, so I didn't even waste the reload. Bad. That's very nice. GG. Not gonna lie. Those C64s, those Cobras, I think they did come in really, really handy. <laughs> KD is uh, kills and losses are pretty low. It was only a 11 minute match. Uh, but, um, yeah, honestly, all things considered, it was actually a pretty solid game. K64s, honestly, they were the perfect choice. I, obviously, I didn't know that before, right? I'm not saying like. Oh, I'm so smart, right? Um, in hindsight, or like, in hindsight, it were the perfect choice, I think. Oh, yeah, 87 is also a little perfect, I think. But um, having three instead of two tanks, which, you know, and they're cheaper than two OBRs, meant, of course, better HE output and more, and at the end of the day, better chances to kill stuff like Rollins or Martyrs with the 80 GMs. Or not necessarily Martyrs, I think they hit the, the Survivor Cobra or whatever missile statistics for we have. Um, but AT gems were actually more impactful because I have three instead of two tanks shooting. Even if they are or might be 5% less accurate. They also have a stabilizer, which can help sometimes. Even if it's not the best. Um, yeah, against the spam, the TC4 BVs were just a better choice. I still managed to just fend off those two ones in the opener, make them annoying. Uh, or, you know, when you compare to T80s, I think they were, in hindsight again, the much better unit here. Um, yeah, I'm actually curious. Let's take a quick look at the replay here. Actually, that's also another thing. Did the Jupiter drop here, or was it just a Jupiter from this? Yeah, okay, it dropped there. That is really far back, Jesus. Right, stuff's moving up now. Maybe it was just for initial uh, organization. So yeah, it was an infantry CV here. Of course, you know, quite lucky that we didn't go up against the deck with like the likes of with like a tiger or a dab. I gambled there quite a bit. I had nothing to protect my MTVs, and even if those are just MTVs for the Rosvetka, right? It's still uh, 50 points. It's not a 40-point helicopter. That is not nothing, right? And they are like, even if they don't kill anything, right? A, a MTV here or something, it's just gonna stop any push with like lightly armored stuff if there's no AA there, right? They are not just cheese units. They're also defensively just very good. Even on their own, they're strong, right? That, that's the thing with these helicopters, right? Sometimes people seem to be under the assumption they're only a problem because of heli rushes. Even on their own, they're just ridiculously strong. I honestly, I completely, fr I never realized what happened to my shadows. I think I just moved them up to try to go for the Hussaren. Being able to, uh, to just, you know, force my opponent to unload early there. What they should have done, for sure. It's just tank MTB with the martyrs, in my opinion, right? Tank those salvos, and then you can try to move up. Martyr 2 is just going to survive easily. If you're unlucky, it's going to get like a firing control system crit or something along those lines, so it can't fire anymore. But that's, I think, would have been the, the smart choice. Um, it, all the time, right? If the, it's just one or two there, and you have some... Anything with, like I say, five armor or more, that is not incredibly crucial right now. And you think there is an opportunity to do that, just try to tank those rocket pods. Then the second best thing you can do after, besides killing a helicopter is just waste its ammo. And um, of, of, of course, you know, just sending in five pointers also works, but they're not going to survive and you might actually need them as, as weird as it might sound. 
So what do they have? They have 45% accuracy. The spheres have 50, right? Or do they have 55? Not sure. But you got three of them, right? Because I have three tanks. 20 AP, they're not going to one-shot Marder 2s. So they're going to survive just barely. You need 21 to one-shot them with heat. Two ones. Took some damage from the AT gems. Roland snipe was very nice. Not a ton of stuff here from our opponent. Those are stalled weapon, those are stalled weapon. Being able to kill that squad with the BTR-90 was so lucky. I probably would have still been able to kill them with the Guru. Because the BTR-90, you know, with aim time and travel time of the rocket, BTR-90 would have still done some significant damage to those stalled weapon with just the initial burst of both auto and the grenade. grenade. Bleh, I can't talk, I'm sorry. And <laughs> grenade launcher. Um, but it still, like, made things so much easier and just, you know, when you... No, there's been something there and you killed it. It just makes your mind just rest easier. Those are sudden. I'm still surprised they spotted so deep into the forest. That I obviously you know them spotting there at the edge. Sure. I, the fact that they spotted stuff like that deep. I think these, I, yeah, they're hidden because there's fire in front of them, by the way. Uh, I, I thought it would be like here, but they were a bit further back, so that's why the fire position didn't work. Yeah, I panicked them even. <laughs> now, this the really funny thing would have been if the, I panicked them and to cause them to rout. But that would have been really funny. I was also really surprised nothing was here. Um, I was very late here as well. A few things this game, I think, I... Um, was just lucky. Uh, okay, this was lucky. This was lucky in a sense that, you know, my opponent just didn't go there, right? It, this wasn't an RNG lucky thing, it was just a, I don't know, circumstance lucky thing, or a, you know, something that you just can't always count on. Because, you know, it's the changes from opponent to opponent. Okay, there's a stinger here. And the stinger there. Just two stingers. Might have, in hindsight, of course, again, as always. Could have maybe done something with... Oh, no, there's another Roland here. Okay. I was gonna say, could have rolled in with those helicopters, because we, I panicked this one, and I was looking for stingers, right? Just one left, one right, so... Could have potentially just cheesed him with helicopters then and there. But there's also Roland here, and together with the stinger, it's definitely gonna kill, like, two helos, I think. And then, you know, only have three. But I was just trying to not do that as much. The stinger got me as well. Ooh, almost got a cobra shot in there. I realized that. And yeah, here, just 4 HE, man. So good. It's such an underrated thing on Soviet tanks, I think. People are very bent on just AP, RPM, armor, and then accuracy. But I think stuff like the cobra, very, uh, I think, underrated, the fact that you have it. It's not the best anti-gem. It's not the strongest, it's not the most accurate. But it is an anti-gem. On a tank that is solid for, you know, if this was just sixty points without AT gem, would still be a solid, a solid tank. Not, not amazing, but solid. But the Cobra just allows it to, especially against mech decks, that's just very prevalent. Just be so much more useful because in these on these maps, you can actually struggle the, uh, sorry, threaten the um, the cheap spam of low armor stuff. And then as soon as they're in gun range, you can immediately fire with the gun because it's for better or for worse how war game. Tank at the gems uh, work. Oh, and that 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 snipe on those two ones was just beautiful. It didn't matter here, but if those two ones were, would have been, for example, of course, the deck didn't have a choice of those tanks, but very similar tank, of course, is like the MA four A. Um, it. Might still not have mattered because I don't think it was qu quite below 350 meters range. But if this was, let's say, a 20 AP tank, I'd say like an uh, HA Abrams, although that's a lot more expensive. The M2 Wilk, probably like the. Is that the cheapest like 20 AP tank you can get? Of course, it's like you pay with 23 AP for the same price. Again, if this had been a two M2 Wilk, or really, if this had been any tank with 20 or more AP, 
would not have been able to one-shot the T-64B. 13 armor. Uh, it is... Again, I think this was actually, finally enough, even though I mentioned it right now, this might actually, all, again, be a case against the magical 13 armor. So in case you're not uh, aware, 13 armor means no kinetic weapon will be able to one-shot you up front if you're at full HP. Kinetic AP caps out at 30, and you need an 18 AP difference to deal 10 damage. So 30 armor or more, you will not be able to get a one-shot up front, assuming you're full HP. And as a result, you know, something like a T-80 has been, for a good reason, and rightfully so, it's like one of, one of, it's like a prime CQC tank, if you will, a forest fighting tank. It's fast, it has 13 armor, and outloader 9 armor is also really, really nice. Low accuracy and stabilizer, not that relevant because of range scaling. Of course, of course. Um, so you got... A really, really good stat distribution for the price. Optics also don't matter in forests. And if you're fighting outside of forests, right? Sure, at max range, you're not that strong against other tanks, although still strong enough, but accuracy is gonna really lag there. But against infantry, you're still gonna be very, very useful. And as such, for quite a while, and I've, I'm very guilty of this as well. Very, very guilty. For quite a while, there's been this notion, which... I'm not gonna go on like the complete opposite end now, right? That is essentially like, oh, if your tank doesn't have 13 armor for uh, at you know a certain price point, it's kind of useless for using it at close quarters. To exaggerate a little bit, right? For example, the Kyler, 12 armor means that in forests an M84A will one shot it. But I think, especially on highway right now, right? I think that's a prime example is where you have a lot of CQC. That isn't quite forest range. It's like 500 meters range. And other maps have that as well. So, in recent years, I've been more and more come to the opinion, I guess, that, yes, 30 armor is really nice, but it's really not that necessary. Again, more armor is always better. Better sets are always better. Um, but, you know, of course, if a tank is overpriced or not, uh, it's an overpriced. That doesn't really matter if it's a third number or not, right? It's just straight up overpriced. But what I'm saying is more like, if the T80 had 17 AP and 12 armor, or let's say 12 armor was 5 points cheaper or something like that, would it be worse? Probably. Would it suddenly suck? Yeah. Maybe in the case of T80, it might actually kind of suck. Because you kind of do really need to be in forest because of your low accuracy. Um, but, you know, out of 13 armor tanks, like T64B, it wouldn't suddenly be suck, uh, like horrible if it had 12 armor. Or like an additional P instead or something like that. Why am I gonna go on like a rambling like that? I, th I felt it appropriate. But yeah, 13 armor is an important threshold. Honestly, not as important as it kind of used to be. Um, thanks for coming to my long winded rambling tent talk. And <laughs> uh, maybe I'll play Soviets again because this was a short one. Um, sometimes I just feel like I want to get some info or like some opinions out there, some knowledge. Yeah. I hope I'll, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope I'll be able to talk properly and I'll hopefully see you in the next one. <laughs> Goodbye.